Hi everybody, welcome to this week's webcast. I wanna thank everybody for sending me um, the feedback on my dates on the webcast, because obviously I didn't know what year it was or what day it was. I kept copying and pasting <laughs> different dates to be the same ones week after week. So I tried to put the correct date in today. I'm hoping I got it right. Uh, I'm thinking it's the 21st of April, but like I said, I really appreciate the feedback about my uh, my date correction. And I also wanted to unveil my first pandemic haircut. That's right, nobody cut it but me. I stood in front of the mirror and I know you guys all like to talk about my hair. So I wanted to see what you guys thought of the uh, my first haircut that I did on myself. Um, I, uh, I tried to do the layering in here to the, the front layering because I used to watch my hairstylists like layer things and I was like, okay, well they, they take the, they do the angle thing and I, I did the layers and I blew dried out and I said, you know, it's not too bad. So, um, I just woke up and I, I couldn't take the dead ends anymore. Um, no pun intended <laughs> and I needed to cut the hair. So that's what I did. Um, so I just wanted to tune in because um, this weekend, I don't know about you guys, but it kicked my butt. Um, so many emotional upheavals this weekend. Um, if you feel like you've had a, like a mental breakdown or emotional crisis, or or you just like you just couldn't handle your anxiety anymore, um, there was like a wave of like craziness this weekend. I'm not sure if anybody experienced that, but if you did. I'm really sorry <laughs> that you had to go through it. Um, I couldn't even think about it. I'm like, how am I gonna even think about coming out of this and talking about it? But um, you know, with all the energies, it's like, it affects people on a regular level. And then with mediums and spiritual people and people um, that are healers or even any of you that are intuitive. Um, if you guys, I mean, you don't have to be doing it for a job to actually be intuitive and have intuitive awareness. So if you're more sensitive than the average bear, then you probably had like some sort of emotional breakdown this weekend. Um, the good news is, is that it doesn't mean you're crazy. It doesn't mean you need to go to a mental hospital. It doesn't mean any of those things. It means that you probably are purging uh, because a lot of us, when the world is open and everything's going on and we're busy, um, especially those of you that can't sit still, um, this forces your body, mind, and spirit on multidimensional le levels because when you have an energetic weakness, um, let me just go back it up a little bit. So when anybody has any form of trauma, now that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a big situation. Your parents could have divorced when you were younger or you could have moved and you weren't ready for moving. You could have been taken out of your school. You could have had um, alcoholism in your family, uh, any form of abuse. Um, so you could have it at the most minimal amount and not think that it, it means anything, or you could have it at the maximum amount. Um, but what happens is, is that, um, the levels, the multi-dimensional levels, um, so your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and psychic levels of your body, which you can only see the physical are all affected like, like a guitar that's not like tuned properly. Um, and so those all get muddy and gray and affected and it, and it tends to like make your frequency off and it tends to um, have some sort of cycles happen in your life. Like if you see repetitive cycles in your relationships or in your work or employment, or you're seeing cycles play out quite a while, like every year, every two years, every relationship that you have, it's the same. It's usually because there is that broken frequency that needs to be fixed. So when we're busy and the more busy you are, um, it means that you're like trying to get away from not having to deal with that. So the people that have been doing their transformational work um, or the people that don't wanna be doing their transformational work, too bad because this weekend, anybody that's been purging emotionally, um, it's like the dam has been burst and you are letting it all out. And if you, if you made it through whatever you made it through in your past, just think about it. You made it through that, you'll make it through the healing. You'll make it through the recovery. Um, so this was a weekend where there was upheaval in the physical body, especially mentally and emotionally. So anything that you've been holding in for your whole life, um, congratulations if you felt like you were gonna like 
jump out a window this weekend. Um, that means it's coming out and it's ready to be healed and you might even feel better today. I know I feel better today. I tend to take on my own stuff, the world stuff, the spirit stuff, anybody that's around me, their stuff. So it's not like I can live in a bubble even though we are living in some sort of bubble. But that's, that's what that's about. I know I went off on a tangent on that, but it, it truly does uh, relate to everybody that's probably watching on, on some level. Um, so let me just go back and um, say some stuff about the energy coming up. Um, I know last week, and we could go over some of the things that um, came through in my channel messages um, last week. I don't know where I put them, so hold on one second. Um, okay, I talked about like the reopening of everything and the quick messages of reopening. We weren't ready for it. Um, the quick movements, the false reopening, the greyhound reopening, as I called it, um, and that this was going to be happening and don't be tempted by the fake energy. Remember, we talked about all the scams last week that were going to be coming out. Right after we did the webcast, I got an email from my bank talking about all the scams that were happening. So I'm like, okay, I guess that 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 you know was happening um so i say these things and some of these things aren't favorable that come through i don't like that they uh come to pass or happen but i wanted to give you guys a heads up because it allows you guys to make better decisions i believe that's the purpose of intuitive information i believe that's the purpose of why um you have a session or a reading or you gain spiritual insight it's not to hear good stuff to make you feel better it's to hear stuff so that you have a heads up so that it guides you to make a better life decision. Because all in all, there's no magic fix for your life. I can't wave a magic wand and say everything's going to be better. I can say this is this road, what it looks like. This is this road, what it looks like. It's up to you what you're going to choose. So psychics or mediums, if they tell you that they could just to predict like a happy outcome, that's not really the case. Um, so that's not what readings are for. Um, now I'm going to go off on another <laughs> So I've been holding all this in for days. Like I needed to connect with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the, the fake energy, you know, it did happen. We're, we're very conflicted. This is the period of the great division. Okay. So what I'm, and you know what? I did it again. I did it again. I corrected the damn date. Like you guys told me to, because I keep putting the wrong date on the webcast. So thanks for telling me about that. But I, I screwed up the title. I didn't change the title. So I'm just copy and pasting. But this is the great division. This is where we're at. So everything that we talked about last week seemed to come to pass pretty quickly in terms of reopening the states and all these reopening. It's really, the it's it's like a fake reopening. That's how I feel. Um, don't be tempted to jump on the bandwagon because I'm telling you, a lot of your intuitions are telling you to stay put and that's, and that's what you need to do. Um, no, I shouldn't tell you what you need to do. Do whatever you wanna do, but follow your intuition because there's something that was, the cart was before the horse here. And I think that um, a lot of these speedy reopenings are not real. There's a lot of division going on in the country at the moment. And um, I think that's going to cause a lot of greater confusion than if everybody was on the same page with the reopening. So like I said, all this fake impulsive stuff last weekend came to pass. Now we're here. What do you do? So, like I said, we this is the time, like two weeks ago, I told you to follow your intuition. This is the time where you really have to follow your intuition because a lot of these, a lot of these things are being lifted. And what are you going to do about it? Um, for me, I have to tap. It's not about how I'm feeling because, of course, I'm feeling restless. I want to get out. I want to do stuff, that, all that stuff. But my intuition, when I tune into the world events and when I tune into the world consciousness, it tells me that there is, uh, there was some impulsive measures taken that we are not ready. Um, so just hang tight. Um, I'm feeling by, um, well, I did say, I did say April 18th at one point, this was many, a while ago that they were going to start putting some things into place uh, of where we're headed. The good news is, the good news is on the financial end of things. So if you need any, any stimulus aid, um, anything with small businesses, they're coming up with so many things for small businesses, but any aid, Everything like that, grants aid, is in the proper line and direction. So it's now time to act on that. So if you were thinking you might need some, any kind type of assistance at this time, that seems for me to be the only thing 
um, that might be on the right track with all the things that are being put into place. I see a lot of um, technological glitches with this and a lot of uh, confusion with paperwork versus online versus telephone versus chat, but I feel like this is the best window of opportunity you're going to have if you wanted to submit for any of these grants um, via you know your state on your state level or even at any level you need to. Um, I feel within a month's time, a lot of these opportunities are going to close. And even within three days time, there's going to be a backup. So today, tomorrow and Thursday, I would say if you want to file or talk to your accountant or do anything financially, this is the time to do it. Um, this is also the time to call your credit card companies um, if you have some sort of interest free financing and ask them to extend it. Um, this is now the time to call your electric, your gas companies, all those things to find out if there's any, you know, um, any programs that you are eligible for. You'd be surprised that, um, you know, you are eligible for some grants um, and aid at this time with a lot of different things, but you do have to put in some work where that's concerned. So there was one message last time that for some reason I completely overlooked on my sheet. And it was a phrase that has been coming to me over and over and over again. And it is, um, and I don't know what it means. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting, but it's saying the big enemy will turn out to be the ally. So it's almost like, you know, Superman is going to come in the form of an evil villain. And who we think might be an evil villain is really turning out to be Superman, who we think is Superman is turning out to be an evil villain. Now, I don't know who or what this is. I don't know if it's a country. I don't know if it's a person, but it seems like somebody um, or something or some entity or somebody is, um, that's the phrase that I got and that's how I interpret it, is the enemy will turn out to be the ally. So if anybody has any, you know, interpretations of that phrase that I received from the other side, please let me know. Uh, another random uh, thing, Saudi Arabia is coming to mind. And I also picked up on a rare cosmic event that's coming. I don't know if this is a comet or an asteroid or some sort of astrological prophecy that is coming, but I feel this is a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful conjunction of sorts. Um, so you might wanna go and go on an astrologer's website. Um, Robert Hand, he's like, he's. He's one of the most amazing astrologers I know. I know he's doing um, some sort of live webcast today, um, but he talks about these rare cosmic events. So maybe he'll be bringing this up. I'm not sure. Something about the pork industry is coming up today for me. Um, I don't know why I'm picking. I know I've talked about meat before, um, but this is something with pork. So if you don't have to buy pork in the next couple weeks, I would advise you to not eat meat or eat some other meat. Um, but the big division um, that I felt. Um, so I wanted to see if what some people are saying today. Let's see. Uh, Margie, have you heard of the project to delete zeros? I have not. I'll have to look into that. Um, let's see how everybody's doing. How's everybody doing? Um, Let's see. Okay, everybody's just kind of listening, which is good. I'm glad you guys are tuning in. I'm, I'm hoping my haircut has you mesmerized. Um, if anybody needs a haircut during the pandemic virtually, um, I think I might be able to, to pull it off. Um, just on an individual le level, what should you be doing right now? We talked about the uh, financial stuff, but what else should you be doing? Getting yourself prepared. So whatever that is, whether it's your business, personal life, this is now a good time to start projects. In the last um, month, two months, I was talking about uh, tying up loose ends. I I hope that by this point, you've gone back of all the things you forgot to do or haven't done in the last couple months, renovations, tying up loose ends financially, career things that you needed to do. I hope that you guys all did that. Now is the time to put the pedal to the metal and take some action. So this is an action-oriented time this is a great week to put that first level in place of a foundation to get the next thing in your life that you want to get started. So if you've, I know that sounds crazy, but if you've always wanted to start a business, you got to come up with a business plan this week. If you um, 
wanted to pitch yourself in a certain way. This is the time today, tomorrow, Thursday, to write that out. So the next three days are the planning days. Next week could start for you know the launching days, not the actual launch, but to put things in action to start to move things forward. So um, just know that it's a good time to start momentum, start things moving forward. And like I said, if this is your first time watching, um, I'm going to be giving you guys uh, these videos via your email if you miss them on Facebook. So up in the description section, uh, there's a link that you can uh, subscribe to get these in your email so that you don't miss them. Um, I'm going to be putting them out either today or tomorrow. So if you missed the last two, they'll be in there. And I'm also going to be writing the um, April message, the April inspirational message as well. So, and I'm also planning um, to uh, do this intuitive development workshop stuff that uh, I've been planning. So I ended up getting a few tripods and putting things in place. So everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm telling you to do, I'm doing myself. <laughs> so 